All right, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be taking you on a guided tour of Villa Valdelpras, which is where Sim Barnty live. And this house has taken me quite a while to build and I'm very proud of it. We shall not talk about the fact that one Nivienne has died on these grounds as a result of a fire. It was a very tragic accident and definitely not because I have no idea how to move her out without her taking all the fucking furniture with her. Whatever the case, her spirit has been laid to rest and there are absolutely no ghosts on this lot. So here is the house. You can see there are lots and lots of lights because Barnaby don't have any qualms whatsoever spending lots of money on water and electricity and they definitely don't give a shit about all of that as long as things look good. You can see here they have two courtyards which are open air, definitely not structurally sound but hey it looks pretty so who cares. And here we're going to take a brief walk through the outside and I want to show you all that this courtyard here is supposed to have a bear, but unfortunately there are no bears in The Sims and so this sculpture will have to do even though I have absolutely no idea how it relates to Barnaby in any way whatsoever. And here we have the couple- oh, 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 there we go! First sighting of Barnaby's butt! Naturally, this does not bode well of the spring, which immediately turns <clears throat> a weird shade, but Barn is a very good boy and he cleans it right up. Now, we're gonna head on over to our open air space where the family host barbecues and also have a shisha place where they can smoke and a bar. <laughs> the bar so is an out. open bar, which makes things very, very difficult when it rains. But again, this is not the real world and therefore a little rain won't kill anybody. So Barn, being a good boy after showing us his butt, is going over uh, to the bar and Fuizak. his wife, uh -huh. his lovely alcoholic wife, is heading over for some drinks! And because this is Villa Valdelbras, they make their own wine and she's getting a taste. Obviously good. Now we're gonna move in and wait until the sun comes up and you can see the villa in its full glory. As you can see, the Bogen Villa is overgrown down the front and it's definitely intentional and not because these two motherfuckers are too lazy to do any trimming whatsoever. We're gonna continue our tour in the greenhouse where you can see lots of places for them to sit and do absolutely nothing because they rich as hell. And here is a little table where Biddy can try and commune with the dead. It's a good thing there are absolutely no spirits that were burnt to death in this house, hey? Hey? And anyway. An herb elf nest for him a besaka. She's absolute rubbish at it, so we'll leave her to it. Here you will see the garden where lots and lots of vegetables and fruit and flowers are grown and that avocado tree there is absolutely not stolen from Athenes. Barnton definitely didn't go stand in front of her house for days until it started fruiting so he could steal one of the fruit to replant here. No, no, definitely not. Here in the back garden, we have a little sitting area connects to the inside. And once you round the bend, you come back over here to where the pool is. And as you can see, it is now fully clean again. We're now going to go on an inside tour of the house, which starts off in this courtyard where there is a little sundial for telling the time, which is strange because it is the modern world. This is the sitting area where people can play. I don't know what the fuck Biddy is playing. And Barn is there watching television. And of course, this isn't gonna last long because over here is where Biddy can sing. And of course, 
Baron is like, let's not. Let's do it instead. A whole conversation in Simish. Ladies and gentlemen, Barnity of Villa Val del Bras. Garbu flows, Pipite Marpso in Mimbator, Fred. Marble grows, Crimble and Edge and Edge. Oh, shame. I'm a garbu. So be wise, blue's he blind, most he pray, come right. I'm a garbu, so be way, most he pray, blue's he blind, come performance by two idiots who live here and of course on the other side of the hall where we continue our tour is where you can DJ and dance at the same time and here we have the man of the house himself cutting up the rug until his wife comes in and she's like I'm gonna show you who's boss sir watch me jiggle my non-existent butt and he does Okay, she's not all that great at dancing herself. He's like, what the hell are you doing, Biddy? And then she answers, I am dancing and I'm breaking my back. And he's of course a great husband and he laughs at her. You will see lots and lots of paintings on the wall and note the checkerboard flooring. You can also use it to play life-size chess, though I would not suggest using real angry pieces like in Harry Potter. We continue our tour in the main dining room, which is where the couple show people how immensely rich they are because, you know, all the rich people have big dining rooms with separate coffee and tea machines and this is what they have with a big kitchen right behind the dining room and this is actually my favorite room because it is the kitchen I wish I could have in real life. You can see all the stoves and all the shelves and all the little little accessories that truly make it home. And of course, extra coffee machines and tea machines because you can never have too many of those at home. Here in this little corner, we have the wine and extra dishes and extra ingredients and it's basically the pantry. And of course, you need a little intimate dining nook for people in the house. Or the servants. <laughs> From there, you can get a glimpse of the bathroom. And this is the plebeian bathroom. It's only open to the public, which means the family don't use it. Which is probably a good idea, considering the bathtub opens up to the outside. And I've somehow managed to cut that out, but it doesn't matter. Because either way... Nayaka Wumble Behind the bathroom is Rance the Coop is a grand Susie hall Pablo where Warza. our couple Habine. can work on our converting Boya people Ushe. to their cause yes. or you know just a practicing debating and stuff. Time Behind there is a little section where all the trophies from their travels are stored. You can see gems and lots of plants and pots. Great place. Now on the second floor, we have the couple's bedroom, which is sparsely furnished. Nothing like television in here because there are other things to be done. <laughs> and this is the sitting area. And this is the treadmill, which they don't use in lieu of other exercise. bed and all the stuff on the walls, fireplace, little sitting area mirror and the view is magnificent and of course one of the things I wish I had in real life also because when they look out it's an amazing view of the sea 
and here they can gaze upon their kingdom and yell at people who run across their grounds. This is where they can play chess and there are of course orange trees up front so they will never go hungry. There are still decorations from New Year's hung up and I have to remove those. This is their bathroom and of course there is fantastic hot springs and indoor hot springs. And again, it opens up to a view of the outside, which I guess is still kind of questionable and so far as showing people your um, big boy zucchini, but this is a game, let's just go along with it. <laughs> This, of course, is their work studio where they can take lots of pictures and there's a little fish in here which I've somehow named Gartnate. Naturally, in the real world, this room would be fucking hot as hell and I would never under any circumstances spend any time in here. That is not night. But, just being a game, I don't care if my sims have to roast. And roast they will because they work in here a lot. That's their little breakfast nook. And of course, more coffee machines. There are not enough coffee machines to sate my desire for an extra coffee machine. So this is their little work studio where Burnton can work on handicrafts and where Biddy can paint and there is a giant television. And outside there is a little nook where they can sit and enjoy the sun. Next up, we go into the library where all their books and poems are stored. And of course, I have this little fire pit here, which I cheated and made and I'm honestly in love with this fire pit because I think it's so great. It's definitely not a fire hazard and not the way this house will someday burn to the ground. <laughs> definitely not and we would never leave a fire unattended. Oh no. Here is one of the guest bedrooms. Nothing special because who cares about the guests anyway except the guests share a bathroom that also has a hot springs tub. You know, I think I may be obsessed with hot springs tubs and I think the owners of this house definitely are. But it links to this bedroom which is Japanese inspired and it is very zen and has a wonderful view of the greenhouse below. In fact, it has wonderful views however way you turn. But for long term staying, I would suggest curtains. Oh yeah. And that concludes the tour of this big, beautiful house that makes my game lag like no tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this tour, and if time permits, you might visit on your own someday, where you will most certainly not die because of all the fire hazards I have somehow placed in here, as they are beautiful. Thank you for taking the tour with us, we hope you have enjoyed. Goodbye!